Hi, I'm Kevin Gillis, and today we're going to show you how to winterize your outdoor gas power tools. In this segment, we're going to show you how to winterize your gas string trimmer. Now, the first thing you want to do when you're winterizing a gas string trimmer is you want to get rid of all the gas in the unit. So right now I have my gas can and my funnel. So loosen this up here. I'm going to throw my funnel in there. And what we're going to do is we're going to loosen up our gas can. Okay. There you go. What you want to do is you want to empty all the gas into an approved container with your funnel, just like that. All right. Now, once you have all the gas out of the unit, you'll see that there's still some residual gas in the primer bulb here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to tilt it over, and we're just going to squeeze on that primer bulb. We'll see that little bit of gas come out, and that'll take all the gas out of the carburetor. Okay, now once we have removed all of the gas and oil mix from the unit, we're going to want to try to start it just to get all that gas and oil out of there. So I'm just going to put my cap back on my gas tank here. Okay, now you want to refer to your owner's manual for starting instructions here. I'm just going to set this in the start position. I'm going to give it a few pulls. Now it may, it may sound like it wants to start, but it'll keel over because there's obviously no gas in here, but that'll just flush the unit out of all the gas. So I'll just give it a few more. Okay, so now that there's no more gas in there, what we want to do is we want to add some two-cycle oil to the unit. Being that there's no gas and oil in there, we're going to add it through the spark plug port. So we're going to pull our spark plug out. Now I have my scrunch right here. This takes a 13 16 wrench to remove. You always want to refer to your owner's manual when you're removing your spark plug, as they may have different sizes. Just kind of give it a... Huh? That have that out. I'm going to pull my gloves off to add the oil. My two-cycle oil right here. And we're just going to take just a little bit. Just going to drop it in there. Perfect. Just a couple drops. All right. Now, being that we have our spark plug out, let's take a look at it. We can check it out here. This one looks pretty good. We'll just kind of give it a brush off here. Make sure that it's not a fouled spark plug or that we need to replace it. If we need a replacement, we should go get it. Definitely um, this season rather than next because we don't want that gap open and collecting dust and debris uh, while it's sitting in your garage for a season. So I'll just replace this spark plug. There we go. And I'll tighten it down just so we can get that lock nut down there, lock washer. And that's the spark plug. Next, we're going to go into our air filter. We definitely want to uh, check to see if our air filter is uh, dirty in any way. Um, refer to your owner's manual again. There are different types of air filters. Um, this one, in particular, has what they, it's a permanent air filter. Okay, so it has a, it's just a permanent mesh uh, filter here. We want to make sure that it's clean. If there was any dust and debris, you can get yourself a brush and just kind of wipe it off there. You also have a foam filter that they sell. Now, if this is dirty, you can, you know, take it inside put it under some, uh, some hot water and some soap and make sure it's thoroughly dry before you put it back in the